Yeah, g'day Jeff here. Quick Sunday afternoon video. Um, just wanted to show you the uh, Zello Crosslink I've got set up that uh, connects RF radio to uh, Zello on your mobile phone or your computer. Um, so this is the RF side of it, obviously. It's on a radio frequency. It's on a local a commercial radio frequency that's locally licensed uh, through the ACMA, Australian Communications and Media Authority. This radio uh, is also type approved to transmit and receive, or more so transmit on that frequency. It's a UHF high band frequency, 491 megahertz range. And it's going to be going uh, through to Zello on a mobile phone. So this is the, the phone that stays here. Um, and this is the phone that runs Zello. I can just figure it out to do this on its side or just turn it on. Radio. So this is Zello uh, running on the phone. So I've just opened up the channel I want it to uh, run on, connect to the channel. Now what I've done here in settings, options, uh, where are we, push to talk buttons, oh, this phone's a pain focusing, Vox button, okay, got show button on the talk screen, keep Vox enabled when the screen's locked, I've turned up the activation sensitive sensitivity to extreme i've turned down the human voice activation right down i've got activation time set to zero milliseconds deactivation time set to 600 milliseconds um, also because of the um the radio that's uh, transmitting and receiving at the repeater site um, i've changed the playback amplifier from automatic to 1 db gain and I've also upped the recording amplifier to 5 dB gain. Um, turned off noise suppression. If you leave, if you have noise suppression turned on, um, it's more or less unusable because the, the transmission keeps breaking up too much. So in this case, turn noise suppression off. I've got all the other settings turned off. Just go back into the Zello channel. Now you might see down here this little squiggly line. Turn that on, that's your Vox button. Also, I've made, you know, I'll make sure that uh, the mode is set to speaker and not phone. Uh, but this is the key to it all, this little Vox button here, which I have to go and enable in the push to talk settings or the push to talk button settings through the Vox button. And what we've got is I've got, um, just for the local electronics shop, just a three, pin, a three pole plug coming out of the phone. This is a Galaxy um, Note 9, Samsung Galaxy Note 9, obviously running Android. So I've just got three pole plug coming out of the phone. The phone's sitting on a wireless charger, so it can sit there all day. A wireless charger kicks in and out as required, so it doesn't stuff the battery up. Um, now I've got this plug wired in. We had to um, hack the leads and figure out what wire operated what setting, whether it's transmit or receive, and connect it up to this little ICOM um, headset piece. So this is the Vox. This is where uh, Vox operates from, on the radio side, not the phone, on the radio. So you have to set the phone and the radio to both uh, transmit and receive automatically and switch themselves between transmit and receive. So again, using the Vox setting on both. So the, pro, the radio itself, the ICOM IC40, uh, I think it's on, yeah, IC41 Pro, sorry. There it is there, IC41 Pro. Um, set on a duplex channel there, repeater frequency. It's also got the Vox setting enabled inside. Um, so, like I said, this is radio is operating on UHF, 491 megahertz uh, around that area. And it's going to cross-link any transmissions it receives on that frequency into Zello. Any transmissions Zello receives back from people operating on their mobile phones will be retransmitted through this uh, wiring harness back into the radio and over the, over the air via RF on the radio. So basically people using a handheld radio like this or a radio in the car will able to be talk will able to talk to will be able to talk to somebody on their mobile phone. Um, so just stand by and we'll just uh, give a quick demo of that. Right yeah so what I've got here is I've got another mobile phone, just a Samsung Galaxy S6, just an old spare phone I've got laying around. It's also on the same channel on Zello. Sorry about the lighting and the focus, it's uh, not working real well. But anyway, this is just uh, obviously not connected to anything. It's just a standalone phone. Um, that's it. 
running the Zello app. Okay, and over here, I've got a VHF low band radio operating on 78 megahertz. Um, again, it's a commercially licensed frequency to the uh, organization uh, that uh, has a license to them. And these two radios basically can talk to each other without Zello. So the one on the left, UHF 491 megs, the one on the right, VHF low band at 78 megs. Um, what they've got, what this organization's got, they've got a local crossband repeater set up up on the hill near me, um, or nearby anyway, uh, and it, uh, it retransmits any VHF transmissions on UHF, and any UHF re, uh, transmissions get rebroadcast over VHF. So they've got another repeater uh, on a mountaintop that's quite a long way from here on the VHF band on 78 megs. Um, so they use the crossband repeater locally because that repeater on 78 megs, uh, megahertz uh, isn't quite readable uh, around town here. So they rebroadcast or retransmit it from VHF onto UHF at a, a repeater based uh, a lot closer that has a lot better reception. Um, now, because I've got the Zello Crosslink in the middle here, connected to the UHF side, any of these transmissions, apart from, say, if you transmit on the VHF low band repeater, if you transmit on that, apart from coming over the UHF repeater, the local repeater, it will now also be rebroadcast over Zello on this particular Zello channel. Um, so anyone connected to this channel will hear it. Now, those people connected to that channel on Zello on their mobile phone will also be able to talk back to this VHF radio um, or any VHF radio on the same channel via the UHF crossband repeater. Now it's a little bit confusing. So we're going through two repeaters and one data crosslink. But uh, as you'll see, it works. So I'll just use this fella here first. I've also got another radio over here going on VHF because this portable, um, where it is right now, isn't the best location and it has trouble picking up the VHF repeater. Um, but we'll see, see if it works. So I'll use this one to transmit. A 9 9 testing 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, as you can hear, the base radio I've got over here that's on VHF, which obviously does pick the repeater up loud and clear is working this one not so much it's again it's in a crap area right yeah someone well someone's answering me on radio uh copy that thank you i've got you loud and clear five by five as well uh just for your info i'm actually using zello on the mobile phone to transmit so you can see the little transmit and receive light up here operate. As you can hear, there is a slight delay between the RF and the Zello. Um, obviously, Zello is using data, so there's always going to be a slight delay, digital data. Same as any uh, other digital radio or your mobile phone. If you stand beside someone and transmit, oh sorry, stand beside someone and call them on your, on your phone, um, there's always a tiny little delay. Obviously, the, the delay um, comes down to uh, the internet usage at the time for whatever you're using. So at the moment I'm on broadband and I think the rest of the household are in other rooms using the internet at the moment, so possibly a little bit slower. But anyway, it's quite usable as you heard, quite usable. Um, and I just spoke to a gentleman from my mobile phone and he was on his, he was on his VHF portable radio. Um, he's obviously a lot closer to the repeater than what I am. But that's it in a nutshell, so it works quite well. So you can use Zello on a mobile phone type device, or, or especially Android device. I don't know about iOS, I've only got Android stuff. But it does work quite well to retransmit RF uh, voice transmissions from a two-way radio system onto a Zello channel and vice versa. Uh, obviously with Zello too, Zello records everything, so let's see if I can find it here, radio. So as you can see here, I'm trying to do this with two hands, 
TDRS X link is the cross link, the Zello cross link. U is obviously me, so you can play it back. Uh, just for your info, I'm actually using Zello on the mobile phone to transmit. Thanks, Jeff. Copy. As you can hear, Rhett heard me um, on his radio. So where are we? Let's try this up here again. 9-9, nine, nine, testing 1, 2, 3, 4. Copy the radio loud and clear. Uh, copy that, thank you. I've got you loud and clear, 5x5 five five as well. Uh, just for your info, I'm actually using Zello on the mobile phone to transmit. Thanks, Jeff. Copy. Oh yeah, so that is quite successful. As you can see in this particular group, there's five users logged in at the moment. Um, I really need to do something about the lighting here. But, well, there's five users logged in at the moment on this particular Zello channel. So if any of them transmitted, we'd hear them over the radio network. Um, this has gone into the lock screen again. Have a look at this. But it does work quite successfully. Um, probably not the best of permanent solutions. Um, Android mobile phone on the battery charger all the time. Same with the radio sitting on the battery charger all the time. Obviously, it's no good for the batteries eventually. The mobile phone, it's not too bad um, because the charger itself cuts in and out as required. Uh, I'm not too sure on this ICOM radio whether the BC213 charger um, basically goes into a float mode when the battery's full um, and stops charging. Otherwise, if it doesn't, obviously there's a chance it could damage the battery eventually at a later date. Just a, a side note, you can also use this as a portable crosslink. So as a portable repeater, I guess. Um, so if you had something going on and you wanted to go somewhere, but you had no mobile phone reception, say you're working down the bottom of a hill, you had no phone reception down there, but you had phone reception at the top of the hill. What you could do is set this up in a car and park it at the top of the hill, plug it into, the, uh, into an auxiliary battery supply, uh, maybe have a magnetic mount antenna on the roof of the vehicle, unscrew the uh, antenna off the UHF radio, screw on the external antenna, and plug your phone into uh, permanent power. Same with the, the uh, radio, you can get a battery pack with a um, curly cord and a cigarette lead on the back. Well, it's not a battery pack, but a, a power pack. So you just take the battery off and put that uh, external power supply adapter on it, plug it into the cigarette lighter, plug your, your phone into another cigarette lighter jack, um, and off you go, you can go walking down the bottom of the hill and you'll be able to use another two-way radio, whether, depending on the system you've got, whether it's a VHF or a UHF radio, that's the UHF version of the um, Samoko. Whether you use the uh, VHF or the UHF um, would depend on the, mo uh, the band this portable radio is on that's connected to your crosslink. Like I said, at the moment, we're also we're connected to a UHF slash VHF crossband repeater. That's why we can get away with using VHF and UHF together. But if you're just mobile out in the car and you just wanted to, wanted to talk um, from a remoter location, but you have line of sight to the car from where you are, where you can just take a radio UHF radio with you on the same channel down the bottom of the hill, and when you transmit on that, it'll transmit back through the crosslink radio. That's it where Zello is. Over Zello, over the mobile phone network, presumably, presumably you'd have range, um, and then anybody else on their mobile phone on the same channel will hear you talking on your UHF radio. They'll then be able to talk back to you from Zello on their mobile phone. Um, like that, they'll be able to talk back to you, and it will retransmit over the UHF radio via this antenna. Sounds a little bit complicated, but it's not really. It's really quite simple. Um, but anyway, there you have it. That is Zello uh, working as a cross-link repeater, shall we say, uh, here in Australia. RF to data network over mobile phone and vice versa. Uh, if you've got any questions, you can just uh, get in touch with me and I'm happy to answer any. You can buy dedicated devices I've seen on, e on the internet. Um, to replace this. Um, one of them is a little white box. Um, 
it automatically powers back on if you have a power failure and things like that. Obviously, you can also connect these things up to a backup battery. I guess what's good about having these is if there is a uh, small power disruption wherever they're set up and they do lose power, as long as you've got internet, obviously, um, they've both got batteries in them. So even the radio, you know, might should last a little bit before it goes flat. So you, you lose the power for half an hour or something like that. These two are probably going to still are still going to receive and transmit. Um, obviously, as long as if this is connected to a repeater, as long as it still has power at the other end, which it probably will because it's in a different locality. Radio, and that's about it. Uh, hooray for now.